guys, Bill C. Mattel from the BBZ TV, Carpinteria Beach. Early morning, early bird catches a worm. Out here with the new ITX Akuma spinning reels, 2500s. I have a Rockaway um, 10 foot surf rod, and I have a Guide Select Pro 99, both two piece. They're incredible. We're going to do a little uh, surf uh, perch fishing. And we're going to throw out some crankbaits and some iron just to see if we get lucky and uh, maybe catch a striper or a halibut or something. But uh, we're going to have a fun day today. So, you know, join me as I go along. We'll hit some uh, little key points that I look for when I'm out here fishing in the surf. And hopefully this helps you next time you're out on the water. So uh, let's get started. Hey guys, this is a prime example. We're coming down on a low tide. So the low tide is going to be in about 15 minutes. But you can check out really cool contours coming out of these cuts and you see this water draining back out into the ocean right here this is a prime example now usually if I'm on a flat bank on an outgoing tide I'll throw furthest out on the furthest breaker because I'm thinking everything's pulling out and that's just where I start but on something like this I'm gonna see how close I can catch a perch underneath my feet right here in this little drawback right here and uh we'll give it a try but don't be afraid to fish really close by your feet for perch fishing because sometimes they're literally at your toes but you'll never know unless you fish there so let's give it a try okay um like i said i got uh, soft steel braid 30 pound test i did go to an eight pound test fluorocarbon soft steel and i sh i really shortened the lead so i got an 18 inch lead the reason why I go small leaders on this system is it eliminates some of the wind knots. And just when you put this in the water, you want it drifting, you want it closer to the sinker since I'm only fishing a foot or two water. So. Okay, right here, let's see right here. Right here, right here, look at this. Look how close that was. Okay, right out here in front. You see the mud line right there. There's a little bit of a drop off that's just only about a foot right here in front. I'm going to throw it way out there, but I'm going to get hit right underneath my feet. <laughs> that was literally just right here in the surf. Small little puppy. That was literally right. Oh, fish on, fish on, fish on. What do I got? What do I got? What do we got? Halibut, baby. Halibut. Halibut, baby. Hey, guys. Well, that was fun. Uh, came out here. Check this out. The Rockaway 10-foot. We got a two-piece. It's a medium light with the ITX 2500 soft steel 30-pound test braid to a 12-pound soft steel floral stretch. Got me my first halibut out of the surf with this setup. Great little setup, fun fight. Let me get him back in the water, but uh, it's really cool. Next one, if I could ever get one, maybe the elusive striper. So uh, let's get back out. Whoo, got a flatty. Flatty out of the surf. That was cool. Oh, 
Fish on, fish on, fish on, fish on. Number two on the Rockaway ITX. Soft steel line. Let's see what we got going here. Woo, look at this perch. Look at this perch. That's a good one. Nice. Nice. Time to let this bad boy go. That's a solid perch. Woo! Just a little bit about reading reading tides and watching wave activity. <laughs> it's it's way too deep for me to go out there, but you can see there's a high spot out front. So you see that water coming up? That means it's getting shallower. It's gonna break, you can see the dirt roll. It settles back down, so there's gonna be a trough in between it, that trough screen. So that, that could be three or four foot right there. And then it's gonna come up to the secondary high spot right on the beach right here, and it breaks again. So watching your breakers can dictate on how the, the structure lays out on a beach. So I'm gonna be looking in between this area for possibly like perch or, or halibut sitting in this trough, but uh, you gotta fish it. You gotta see if it happens. Perch right here in a couple inches of water, right off this little drainage. Woo, that's baby, that's bait right there. Guide Select Pro, nine foot, nine inches, two piece, with the ITX 2500H. 30 pound braid, soft steel braid, with an eight pound test uh, soft steel fluorocarbon. This is a really, really slick little setup for the ocean. Something as subtle as that. A little bit of a drainage. Woohoo! There to hit! Woohoo! That's a solid little hit. Nice perch. Ooh, nice. That's a nice one. That's a little perch. A two-hander. Hey guys, just to give you a little history at Carpinteria, I came here and did some fishing back about eight years ago, and the beach, you know, all in front of Carpinteria was just bitching sand. You catch perch all day long. It was really awesome. They said after a couple of the big floods and the fires that they dumped so much rock in front of Carpinteria, it just completely changed the entire ecosystem. But the cool thing about it is, is we're here at the end on the uh, north end of Carpinteria <clears throat> and you can see the little back bay here. Coolest thing today, I've already seen three leopard sharks. They saved one that beached itself, but leopard sharks on high tide go back in this little pond and then low tide they try to get out or they stay back there. So we're gonna go in there and look, but uh, I've already seen three come out in about six inches of water. And like I said, one beached itself and uh, we got that one back in the water and saved it. But uh, just really cool things when you get out on the water, just go fishing, have fun, and uh, cool things could happen. But uh, the sun's blinding me right now. Let's go back here and let's see if we can see a leopard shark. In there. Comes another leopard shark, guys. Swimming right there. Look at that skinny water, little guy, little three footer. There it goes. Look at this guy, look at that guy. Leopard shark coming out of the water. Look at him go. Man, they know their trick, man. That guy just scooted right out. He's gonna hit some skinny water right now. Look at that, that's cool. Here comes another shark. Another shark. Leopard boy, good boys. 
here comes another shark. 